Well, hey guys, it's Michael here. Since I got the Titanium 45 Plasma Torch, I was looking around at CNC plasma tables and I was shocked to find that you can actually get a 2 foot by 2 foot CNC plasma table for 1500 bucks. This one I spent 1800 on because I added a few more options, a larger cut capacity and a water table. But yeah, the original table out of the box for $1,500 will cut 24 inches by 24 inches. It's from uh, Langmuir Systems. It's a Crossfire. It's a pretty cool thing. I was blown away that you can get such a quality little table for the price. One of the extra options you could buy was a laptop table stand for another $89. Bucks. And I decided that's one of the first projects I should learn how to program this thing and uh, build. So if you guys are interested in the video, I cut this out of 8th inch salvage aluminum and it's pretty nice. You can fold it in when you're not in use and you can move pivot this uh, computer around. So if you guys are interested in the video, stick around and check it out. So the operation program for this thing is Mach 3 and this is a free trial program. It's limited to 500 lines of code. If you want a full version, you have to pay for it. So you can pretty much with this free trial program, you can cut circles and lines fairly you know simple basic brackets and stuff like that but if you want to make anything more complex with lots of curves and arches you're definitely have to buy the program and I'll go into more detail about the operating system and the programming system for uh, drawing up your parts it's Fusion 360 and it's a free program but there are some things I learned along the way that I'd like to share with you guys if you're interested in one of these things and uh, I'll post another video in about a week or so so if you're not a subscriber please hit like and subscribe and uh, you'll get some notifications when the next video comes out So all this 8th inch aluminum is actually salvaged, believe it or not. I bought 5 more sheets the other day for about 20 bucks, and uh, it's just a fraction of the cost of buying the stuff new. This is the same stuff I used on the quad truck to build the dump bed and the front fenders. And I salvaged them for my work, and believe it or not, these are old snowboard molds. And either they get damaged by getting dented, or the model change, and they recycle them, and I can buy them for a fraction of the cost. And uh, this stuff definitely cuts a little different. The aluminum cuts different than steel, so it has a little bit more slag. I gotta grind off and true up the parts. But it's super nice to be able to program something and have it cut duplicate parts identically. All right, you guys, gonna weld some aluminum here. I got the Vulcan Pro TIG 200 and I got my 8th inch aluminum and we're going to start welding up this laptop table stand for the CNC plasma torch. So I've been really happy with my Vulcan Pro TIG 200 so far, but a really cool thing, Harbor Freight's going to be releasing the Pro TIG 205 in the next few months and it's going to have some new options on it. It's going to have post flow adjustments and it's going to have a digital LCD screen like the Omni Pro 220. And I think it's going to have a few other new features on it as well. So if I can get my hands on one, hopefully I can do a review and uh, compare the two machines side by side. One of the next big improvements to my shop is going to be a new welding station. This one's just small for tiny projects and I have a roll around table if I want to weld anything bigger on it. But it's not quite adequate for me and I just built a new welding station at my work and implemented a bunch of new cool options on it and that's just going to be really nice for TIG welding on. And I'm going to try to take everything I learned on building that there and uh, build one in my own shop. So hopefully in the next few months you guys might see a build on a building a nice welding table so keep an eye out for that as well. So here I got some one inch square stock aluminum for some hinges. It's probably overkill, but I want the hinges to be nice and solid. I don't want them flexing and bending around. And I'm going to take them over the drill press next year and uh, drill some quarter inch holes through them so we can get some bolts through it and start welding this hinge together. There's been some people in the past on YouTube that's badmouthed the Vulcan Pro TIG 200, but I find it to be a fine welder for any of my needs. I'm just so happy to finally have an aluminum welder. It's just been something I've wanted for years and it's affordable. And if you guys keep an eye out on these things because they've been discontinued, they've been showing up at parking lot sales at Harbor Freight and I've heard a lot of guys getting them between $250 and $300. 
on sale so uh you don't get a warranty at that point but you got five days to try them out and i paid about a thousand for mine so if you can get one of these for 250 to 300 bucks it's a steal i'll definitely go for it bring it home try it out if it works great you got five days to return if you don't like it but uh, that's a solid deal on one of these things so keep an eye out for those so here I'm just running over all the salvage aluminum to kind of gloss it up and shine it up a little bit with some scotch bright. Now that I've got the laptop table installed, just adding on some adhesive foam pad onto it just to kind of clean it up and make it a more of a non-skid surface for the laptop to go on. And it just kind of makes it look a little more finished off here. So I'm just about wrapped up with this table here and next we're going to install the laptop and to see how it fits. The cool thing about it is uh, it cuts down a water splashing up and get it on the computer because it sits above and away from the table. And when it's not in use, I can fold it away like this and save space in my shop. So not only did I save some money on this project by not buying their store-bought computer stand, but the best part of all, it got me out in my shop to sit down and program on Fusion 360 for uh, something like this from start to end, multiple parts. And I got some more practice on, on welding aluminum because I could always use more practice with that. So the future videos, I'm going to go a lot more detail about this machine, the pros and cons, and I'll go over the software and what you guys need to know about it. And of course, we'll be using the Titanium Plasma 45 some more. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe guys. Till next time. Bye.